All right, guys, so I just finished doing an awesome walkthrough of Allied Boats, and I'm here with Bo, the owner of the company. But you guys clicked on another boat that he makes. What's up, Bo? Hi. And it's the 270 Admiral, and this brand is called Defiance. It's one of the brands of three that you own. Tell them about a little bit about the brands that you operate. I mean, I'll put links to some of the other videos, but I really want to walk this boat because I think it's interesting and I think it'll do well on the East Coast and the South Florida market. Yeah, so I started Defiance in 2002. It, it was the first brand that I started with. And uh, it's fiberglass boat. That's kind of been my background before I got into my aluminum boats. Um, yes, you guys got to see these aluminum boats that they're building over here in Bremerton. Guys, those are the best aluminum boat builders. That area is like the mecca for aluminum boat builders. Yeah, we have some incredible craftsmen that it's, do our welding. It's and, crazy. Um, I bought Arima Boats, which is a brand that's been around for over 30 years in 2012. So there's some smaller boats like this one down behind me. Okay. Um, but Defiance is, is the company I started with and it's how I got started in the boat business. And this is our 27 Admiral. Um, we go, we build up to 29 feet. So uh, this is not our largest model, but it's it's very similar. The the 29 foot is just about mostly the same, but it's got two feet more fish cockpit in the back. It's a great six pack boat. Um, we're, you know, uh, similar type of pilot house to something you might be familiar with on the East Coast, like a Steiger I'll, Craft I'll or a say, Parker. Yeah, I'll say it. Yeah. Parkers. I mean, we see a lot of Parkers down in South Florida, a lot of them. And they build great boats, but there are some things about our boat that I think set us apart. We're wood-free, lifetime structural warranty, so there's no wood anywhere in the Defiance boat. Okay, nice. Um, we, uh, we do some really nice fit and finish on the interiors, really nice cabins and upholstery. Uh, we offer the shockwave seats, some suspension options, and we keep the boats really simple and easy to hose out and clean. Uh, because we don't have any wood in our boats, we have fish boxes in the floor that are fully insulated and will hold ice all day long. So uh, that's one of the big advantages that we've got. You know, this is one of the fish boxes on this boat, uh, and that's fully insulated with foam and will hold ice all day. Nice. And is there a live well on this? I don't see like normally we would see a live well in the, in, in, in the... So one of the things that we do, and this comes to how we design the boats a little bit, we try to keep things, keep our transom as narrow as possible. Some of our competitors don't do this. And we do that because if you put a live well back on the transom and you got bracketed outboards, now you're fishing around the motors from here instead of being able to get back here and fish around the outboards. Okay. So that's by design. And what we do is we do center mount tanks. Okay. So we have workstation tables. We do a 42 gallon, we do a 50 gallon, a 65 or 115 gallon bait tank. And, uh, and you guys are really known for that. Yeah, we're, we're famous for our bait tanks, but we really believe in, you know, live well is almost a swear word on our boats because <laughs> we do bait tanks on the West Coast. Yeah. We have, you know, really finicky baits that aren't as hardy as what you have on the East Coast. We're using sardines or anchovies. And so when, when we go to get bait, we get thousands of baits. Okay. And it's not like going to get some pinheads or some blue runners and you just got to keep a dozen or two dozen alive. We're trying to keep thousands of fish. So we got to pump 1,100 gallons of water, you know, uh, per minute uh, or per hour through those tanks okay. to get enough oxygen to all those baits. So we have specialized bait systems, but they also are really great workstations. So they're in the middle of the cockpit. Everybody can access the live bait when the when, when the, the things going when crazy. When things go crazy, nobody's all trying to crowd into one corner. Okay. They all have access no matter where they're fishing. I see that you have all your rod holders up here. You got a nice little area that you can walk up to the bow of the boat if you wanted to go ahead and walk around. Yeah, and we'll and we'll want to do that. It's it's nice and comfortable up there. It's got a wide walk around. A couple of things I'd point out. It's an inch and a quarter stainless steel bow rail. So it's not, most of our competitors are just using little skinny one inch rails. This is super heavy duty. So the whole boat is fishable. You can lean out against it. You can reel on a fish, uh, leaning against that bow rail and it's gonna be strong enough to hold on to it. Look at it guys. And uh, 
So let's go inside the pilot house because I'm sure they're going to want to see this, Bo. Yeah. So let's talk about this pilot house. So this is kind of one of our more basic seating arrangements. We have multiple seating arrangements. We can even do little dinette seating and galley packages with, with a sink and fridge. Uh, but this is more basic. This has just got the nice comfortable bench seats and then really nice quality captain's chairs uh, with suspension bases, which are optional, but really, really nice. Guys, if you like your back, you got to get either a shock wave or a shock um, mitigating system. It's, it's the best thing you could do for your back. I think it should be a requirement if you're over 40. I'll tell you, it's, you know, for a long time, we kind of fought against it because we were like, ah, oh, it's a fiberglass boat. You don't need those. Yeah. And after I started building my big aluminum boats, I was like, man, these are pretty nice. Yeah, I think, I think. It, once you use them, you're yeah, like, that's you, it. I'll never, yeah, I'll never, you're going to have those. Want one. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we have a real nice headliner that gives you good, um, good height and headroom down the center. So we have over six four headroom in here. Okay. So for a pilot house, that's really nice. Um, uh, one thing that we do as well. In fact, we're actually getting away from these hatches. You'll, I'll show you this on the two twenty. Okay. Instead of these plastic hatches that most of our competitors use, we're actually going to some custom starboard hatches that we're having made. Cool. But you've got your battery switches in here, protected. One of the things that we uh, that we do that's unique to a lot of our competitors is we put our batteries inside of the house. So the main thing that strands people offshore, I don't know if we have batteries in this yet. Well, they might be on the other side. Um, is batteries off? Oh no, he had them put us up front. So normally we put them under there. This particular customer wanted them up forward, so we've got the batteries up here. But by putting the batteries inside of the house you don't have them back in the saltwater builds getting corroded and yeah. one of the main things that strands people offshore it, it's not that their engine dies on them it's that they have a battery issue or they have a fuel issue so we keep or a those wiring issue. wiring issue and a lot of times those wiring issues are because you get salt on the yep. cable so Absolutely. we keep it inside it costs us a little more money to do it that way but we're all about safety offshore our boats are unsinkable they're all foam flotation filled foam filled we got a large V-berth up in the front. You can do a porta potty or a marine head. Definitely uh, a lot of space in there, guys. And same thing, Optimus system in this. Uh, uh, yeah, this this one doesn't have Optimus, but we do Optimus. We're doing a lot of Optimus in these boats. So uh, all of our uh, all of our twin powered boats are available with Optimus. So tell me about these uh, windows and anything in particular that they need to know about this or the construction of them or? Not really, we use, you know, they're really high quality windows. There's some cheap window places, but uh, we, there's two companies, AJR and Diamond Sea Glaze that are kind of the top of the industry. Okay. And uh, we, we use AJR and Diamond Sea Glaze windows exclusively. That's awesome. So let's, Let's look at the bow, yeah. and then I want to show them. Though so I want to show them the smaller one because I think there's going to be different people that are in different price points. That, that you know, I just don't want to show like this is sure. this is a flagship. This is like a beast of a boat. I mean, you got twin 250s on this. Um, I've been hearing good things about these 250s too. They're saying that they're really powerful. So let's look at the bow. So one of the things that I really love about this boat, not just is it an inch and a quarter stainless steel bow rail, but we go double rung in the front. So you can stand up here and lean out on it, cast your jigs, butterfly jigs, mega baits, whatever you're fishing with, and uh, it makes the whole bow fishable. Nice. Um, and you can get access here quick, guys. Yeah. You got enough space, that even if you're fighting a fish and you got to go fight in the front of the boat. I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm bigger than I want, what I want to be. Don't laugh. That's, that's, you see, guys, I always look for that. There you go. It, it, you got here without a problem, guys. You get in here, and you got more space in here. Now you got some ventilation in here from, from the V-berth in the bottom. Yeah, this hatch opens or closes, of course. Um, so uh, that, that gets you good ventilation if you need to keep cool. Now I see that you have, 
you know this one rigged up here with Lawrence and stuff like that and and and, and I it looks like this hardtop is extremely solid do you sometimes have customers that ask for special things on top of 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 the actual pilot house? Oh, absolutely. We do we do tuna tower, second station control stations up top. Um, so that's the beauty of this. You know, I tell people whatever they want. This, you know, we really do customize a boat for what the angler's looking for, and uh, that's one of the beauties of building aluminum boats and fiberglass boats. I build my smallest fiberglass boat is 16 feet. My largest boat right now is 30 foot in fiberglass, and then we go from 20 foot in uh or 19 foot in aluminum all the way up to 32 and we're actually building a 36 here right now so we're uh we're growing and building bigger boats but uh no matter what size no matter what type if you're interested in a pilot house style boat uh we have a top quality rig that you would really enjoy what's the fuel capacity on this on this defiance well so this is this is depending on on we have a couple different options on this okay uh it depends on your on your fish box setup that you do that comes standard with 180 okay um but you can do a 280 gallon tank okay. optional now we're talking some yeah. range and then on our 29 footer it's standard with 325 and an optional 425 so uh, that's the guy that doesn't want to come home we we actually named our 290 the guadalupe which is the island that, that the uh, great white sharks are at you okay. know out out in the pacific and uh that's a little over 200 miles from san diego and so we designed that boat that if you get our maximum size tank you can drive it to guadalupe island and back nice. and uh but and you need to have that 425 tank if you're going to do it nice all right so let's go guys we're gonna go and see what's the 22 footer yeah so let's go take a look at that 22 footer defiance model because i want you guys to get a little bit familiar with these brands that i don't frequently access right so and price point wise for a boat like this boat that we just saw what what are we looking at range wise like you know well equipped you know, get get on the water, be comfortable. What are they looking at more or less for, you're, you're for this probably particular? Probably going to be in the one hundred and fifty to two hundred thousand range on this boat, depending on how you equip it out and you know what you're doing with it. So, all right, guys. So look, if you want more information on this two hundred and seventy Admiral, you know I'm going to put the link below for their website or their Facebook, and you can check it out. Let's take a look at that twenty-two footer. All right, guys, so now we are going to go and we're going to look at the 22 footer that you guys offer for Defiance fiberglass boat as well. Okay, you said that you have a cruising option boat and then a fishing one, right? So let's look at the cruising style option and, and uh, we can let them see some of the differences of what they're going to like. Okay, so this is uh, powered with the 200 Mercury. So this is our 220 San Juan. This is kind of a cruising and fishing setup. So a little bit shorter fish cockpit than the boat we'll look at in a minute, uh, but a longer cabin. So with this boat, you've got uh, a, our optional transom seat. Okay. Um, and so this can slip down and stow out of the way, or you can pull the pins and completely remove and remove the backrest if you want to keep it in a garage and have going to be spending more time fishing for a little bit then you can uh, you know have that out of the boat mm -hmm. but it gives you some nice extra seating um, what really makes this boat though is the the interior so this boat is designed to be a little pocket cruiser it's got a dinette table dinette seating you can see this has got a really nice aluminum storm door um, gives you really good visibility and and you really don't feel claustrophobic inside of the cabin on our Defiance boats. So all of our Defiance pilot houses come standard with that door and it really opens up the boat. So this is a 22 footer and I'll tell you, it, it's got a lot of space here that you can fish. You know, once you put that seat up, you're good. And then you also can go ahead and get away from the elements. And it looks like it's pretty big in here as well. Yeah, so you, you know, when you go inside of the boat, now you've got some more amenities. You've got the nice, you know quality cushions you've got a teak table a uh, little galley you can put a portable stove or a permanent stove here that we can mount um, i'm smirking i'm smirking because this is the option that if if the wife doesn't let you get the diehard fishing one 
This is the one that she's going to let you buy. That's that's right. We we uh, <laughs> options. We, we deal with that often. We you know when you build hardcore fish boats, you pretty much have to have the boat that you can sell the guy who's married as well. And this is the married guy fishing boat. It's very nice. I'll tell you, um, it's 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 got a lot of uh, nice features. Yeah, you, there's your water tank and good storage underneath all of these cabinets. Um, some throwables and bumpers. <laughs> Um, lots of storage and you also have here the helm same same uh, system as as the bigger one that you have some options with you know it's up to you right right whatever you want as far as electronics absolutely we have you know we're, we're partnered with most of the electronics companies and most of the outboard motor companies so we can set the boat up i tell people all the time we're non-denominational so does this does this little uh table drop down and become a berth absolutely so you can see these blocks down here those are support blocks this lowers down and then there's a filler cushion and this filler cushion sits on top of the table and it just drops and you have your full berth all right cool and guys you can literally all you have to do is turn that it'll drop that's that's pretty pretty well thought out i mean it's, it's something practical but simple nothing that's going to break or press a button electronics or electrical or anything like that so we have a little v-berth right here and is there a head on this uh this one doesn't have it but it is an option so it, it a lot of people do a porta potty we have a privacy curtain that you can do to cover that all up okay so we've got a lot of different options we can do if if you're looking for that type of a setup so walk around as well on this guy uh, yeah yeah it's it's not as big and spacious this is an eight and a half foot beam so it's a little bit of a tighter walk around okay uh, but it's definitely still got a walk around and we use that same inch and a quarter stainless steel bow rail so you can see you still have good fishability around the front of the boat. Yeah, it's, de it's definitely tighter. Same options uh, on the top if you want to go ahead and, you know, put any custom stuff. Good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, nice to Yeah. 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 We're excited. Excited. Yeah. New boat tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> cool. What do you guys think about the boat? It's an awesome boat. It's yeah, yeah. Yeah. Couldn't expect anything better in the uh, Pacific Northwest. I'll tell you that. What, what do you guys? I mean, I'm not from here, and I'm actually doing an interview here with him, and I'm a, a Miami guy. We're, we're, we just walked this cruiser one. What do you like about this fishing option one? Before I even get on it. We like it so much. I actually just drove from Vancouver to look at this boat. Wow. This okay. particular boat. So. That, that's awesome. Yeah. And what is the biggest thing that made you want to come drive that? What is it that drove you, drove you to come down here? Like, what is it that you like or what appealed to you so much that you want to... Because I want to focus on that now while, while I do this video. Uh, I would say Defiance. Uh, you know, we have different boats uh, over in the uh, Vancouver area. And mm -hmm. I think Defiance boat is just it's a great brand. It's a quality made boat. Uh, it's a great smooth ride. Um, that's why we're here. Sure. Hey, let me tell you, I I am gonna say, this is why I asked this. I mean, they, this could have gone sour real quick, guys. This could have gone south real quick, you know. But look, uh, you know what? I appreciate that. You know why? Because I don't. I want people to give their real perspective, uh, so that they can make an informed decision. Both showing the boats. I'm asking questions. You guys are trying to buy a boat. I mean. Maybe we're not going to give that card away either because you got to have some leverage too, you know. But but guys, we're here and let's go ahead and look at this hey. boat now. So both same boat, just now this one is set up for yeah. So the diehard a few, fishing. A few different options. So one of the things you're dealing with with this is this is kind of the more hardcore fish version. So same size hull, but you can see more fish cockpit back here. Much more. But a little shorter cabin. So here's what's cool about this boat and this setup. Okay. Um, one, lots of fish storage still and fully insulated ice boxes. Those run forward, so you got good, and those will hold ice all day long. Um, all fiberglass, there's no wood in the boat. Uh, these we call our cooler cushion seats, so that's more. Now one of these can be plumbed as a live well. Okay. Um, but you also have a cushion that's a really nice seat, but then it'll hold ice. You put your drinks, um, you know, or bait, and one side, you know, smaller fish if you're out rock fishing. 
Um, so you have a lot of fish storage and really good cooler capacity. And then as you come inside, you know, we really, I designed this boat because I wanted to have an incredible four person boat. I wanted to have, you know, ample fishing space for four guys and comfortable seating inside of the pilot house. Now you can take more people, obviously you got the seats out here, yeah. so you can go out with more people. But the nice part is you got enough deck space to fish four guys comfortably so, and so seat four that. guys. Let's show that guys so you guys can see how much deck space there is here. Same, uh, same thing with the other boats. You have those big wells as well for... Yeah. Same thing. So we do, these can be live wells if you're just, you know, if you're in East Coast and you don't need the serious tournament style bait tanks that we do. Okay. Um, so you can plumb these up and you can do that on the 270 and our other models as well. But if you want to have the, the full bait station, you know, bait tank workstation, then we do that on the boats as well. So, and then the same thing, this has a forward bilge. So you've got a forward bilge pump and a rear bilge pump. The whole boat's designed so that you can hose it out, it'll all drain, and then you can clean out the boat at the end of the day really easily. Mm -hmm. Same thing like the other boat. Um, you can see we've got the battery switch, um, all of your electrical stuff, and then down below here, you've got your batteries. So you've got really good access and everything's dry and protected inside the cabin. And then on the other side, you've just got a lot of storage, you know. You got a lot of space to put different gear, your books, uh, anything that you've got with you, um, but still having those comfortable uh, captain's chairs. This has the optional suspension bases, and then you've got really comfortable jump seats uh, for the other two seats. Let me get in here real quick because I want them to see. So, you know, you would have two guys sitting here, right? So you can. You know, one could be facing there. These two guys are hanging out. You guys are just going fishing. And same. Also, a little berth down here. Mm -hmm. uh, head option on this guy or yeah. no? It, it does yeah. have. Okay. So there's an option for a head here. And you can walk up front as well. So, you know, this is where you get the nice, comfortable seat. One of the things that a lot of our competitors do is they have... They don't have the seating that we have in this size of a boat. In, in their 22, 20, 21, 22, 23 foot boats, they'll only seat three people inside of the cabin. They'll have a captain's chair facing forward here, and then they'll have a bench seat mm -hmm. just sitting here. Well, that means the co-captain has to sit sideways the whole time running 50 miles offshore uh, instead of having a forward facing comfortable seat while they're running. So this jump seat setup gets us four, four people comfortably seated but even more importantly than that, it actually gives your co-captain the opportunity to face forward. And if people get seasick or just struggle sitting sideways and sliding next to somebody the whole time, uh, when you're running 50 miles, you want to be comfortable. Can you come up to the bow real quick? Sure. I want to show them the bow. Okay. So you have access. It is a little tighter. It is a smaller boat compared to the bigger ones that we walked through. But same thing, the rails, thick rails. And, and they're heavy duty. I mean, you can lean out on them and reel on a fish. You know, that's why we use the inch and a quarter stainless steel bow rail because we fish. I mean, one thing yeah. that you talk to anyone who knows Bo and they say, he really does it. He goes out and uses the product. Cool. That's how we do our R&D. It's not something that we just have engineers talk about in the factory. Yeah. We're out there fishing every day and we make the changes and adjustments that we need to on our product because we're out using it. Well, it says a lot that you're here also and you're walking and you're talking to the customers that are potential customers. Look, that guy just walked in here and he says he came from Vancouver. Um, so, I mean, I don't know how far it is. I know it's in Canada. Right? <laughs> so, and we're not in Canada, guys. So, yeah. so I think uh, this is definitely something that you guys should explore or take a look into if you're in the market for a boat like this. So, where can they go? Um, where can they go online, though? I mean, I don't want to give them a three-hour video because people are tone, tone out on us. But where can they go online? The guy who's really interested, maybe wants to reach out, maybe do a, a, a factory tour of your Bremerton property. Where can they go online or, or reach out to you guys so you guys can give them more info? So check us out at defianceboats.com. 
Uh, the other thing I always tell people is our Facebook page is awesome. We've got a lot of updates. We've also got a lot of our customers that are on there following and That's chatting. Awesome. So you can actually message them and find other people to get the real deal from people who actually own the boat. So Facebook is awesome, Instagram. And then we also have dealers around the country. We have uh, North, uh, North Bay Marine in Delaware sells our boats, uh, Deep Creek. Cove Marina in New Jersey sells our boats, so we don't have a lot of dealers on the East Coast. We're looking for more dealers, um, but depending on where you live, we may even have a dealer in your area. If we don't, contact us at the factory and we'll help make something happen for you. All right, guys. Well, listen, I want to thank Bo for, for allowing us to walk his booth. I mean, guys, I have multiple videos. We did that 27, uh, 270 Admiral. We did two of the aluminum boats. I'll put end links. Uh, to those boats. I really thank you for having me on and maybe one day when I'm up down this way We'll do a sea trial and they could see what these things do out on the water. All right. Appreciate it Alfred All right guys, we're out of here Don't forget to like and subscribe and if you want to see more videos similar to this one click above